Hello, welcome. So can you tell me uh, what role does education play in supporting Turkey's ambitions in tech and how is the government working to prepare a skilled workforce for future industries? What message does Technofest send to the world? Thank you, welcome to Technofest. Technofest is the biggest aerospace and technology festival in the world and this is the seventh year of the festival. This year in 700, 790,000 teams more than 1.6 million students are attending tech competitions in Technofest. And all of those tech competitions are focused in frontier technologies, in rocket science, in model satellites, autonomous cars, AI in different fields, etc. And this is showing how we are seeing the role of youngsters in National Technology Initiative of Turkey. And with more than $260 billion exports, Turkey is one of the manufacturing uh, centers and hubs in Europe. And we are now becoming also a high-tech manufacturer in this region and in the world. And Turkey is also focusing on paradigm shifts. And when we did that in defense, as uh, in the example of UAVs, drone technologies, we know that we can be ahead of many other countries in the world. So here in this field, in this area, in Technofest, Turkish youth uh, is being engaged uh, with high-tech areas and focusing on paradigm shifts in high technologies. So what are Turkey's steps towards becoming a global technology leader? Actually, we are enhancing the R&D and innovation ecosystem in the country. In the last two decades, uh, we have built a huge ecosystem. And now we have more than 100, 100 techno parks and 10,800 different companies are making innovative projects in those facilities. And they are all getting our ministry supports many different kinds of incentives and grants. The human capital in R&D ecosystem uh, has reached nearly 270,000 and the total R&D spending in the country uh, reached uh, 12 billion dollars in a year and it's again 10 times more than 20 years ago. So with a stronger human capital, with a huge ecosystem and network in this area, we are now uh, much more innovative than the past and we think that if we can also attract global investments in high technology areas, we can enhance this network and ecosystem. To do that, we initiated new programs for high tech investments in the country. Our president, His Excellency Recep Tayyip Erdogan, announced a new high tech investment incentive program with the name of HIT30 last month. And that program is named as HIT30 because it has targets for 2030 and it's uh, having a scale of 30 billion dollars we aim to attract uh, high-tech investments in the areas like electric cars, battery cells, solar cells, wind turbines uh, and also uh, semiconductors, I mean chip production and uh, hyperscale data centers. So uh, how do you envision Turkey's technology development impacting not only the region, but also the countries around the world in terms of innovation, economic growth, international collaboration and security? Actually, being self-sufficiency in high technologies is one of the must areas. We know that there are many big tech companies in the world now uh, who are dominating this field. and. We, we think that we should multiply alternatives in the world. Turkey is now uh, taking a role in global uh, arena so that uh, we are showing that it's possible. In the beginning of the new century, Turkey focused on paradigm shifts in aviation and aerospace. And now we are number one country in the world in drone technology. It's possible for your country to get ahead of others very soon. As in drone technology example, in Turkey in last 10 to 20 years, so we are democratizing high-tech development in the world and also we are democratizing high-tech development in the society. It's 
the Turkish garage model in high-tech developments. There are now millions of people here creating their own ideas, creating their own projects, and creating their own startups. What is your favorite one? What would you like highlight? Actually, AI is coming very fast and very strong. And I think that AI can solve many problems in many different fields. And when I look at the projects of youngsters here, I, I, I saw that they create brilliant solutions using AI in education, in health technologies, or in many other problems for, uh, to solve uh, the uh, climate change problem in the world. There are many scientists here, researchers, or even university students creating excellent things using AI. Share some of the most promising technology initiatives that Turkey is working on, particularly on AI, robotic space or renewable energy maybe. Yeah, renewable energy is also a, one of the main focus areas of our government. We are very strong in solar panel uh, production. We are one of the main producers of wind turbine components in Europe. We aim to enhance the capability of a green technology development in the country in the future that here you can find hundreds of startups focusing on renewable energy technologies and I am sure that with their innovative solutions in these fields we will be one of top countries in the world in the supply of renewable energy technologies.